Today we're searching for a card that I have never pulled. Eldritch the Golden Lord. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. Today we have a bunch of Secret Slayers blisters. I've never pulled Eldritch before. It's a pretty hard to pull card and it's 75 plus dollars for the Secret Rare. But before that, we have a giveaway from the guy who sent me these. He actually sent a giveaway of packs to open. So we're gonna be opening up one, two, three different packs. We're gonna open up all the packs, I guess it seems. So this should be pretty fun. This video is sponsored by Atlas VPN. Do you like the internet? Do you like safety? Then you'll like Atlas VPN. Atlas VPN protects you from spying, public Wi-Fi dangers, and hides your IP address when using the internet. If you like the sound of that, it means that you can get a three-year subscription for just $1.99 a month with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Time is running out, so get your deal by clicking the link in the description below. If safety isn't a good enough reason for you, how about entertainment? If you're a dubbed animator like me, then you've probably tried to watch Naruto Shippuden and realized that you can't watch it in the United States. That's where Atlas VPN comes in. Simply connect to a server in the United Kingdom and bam, you can watch all of your favorite episodes without any hassle. If you want both the safety and the convenience of Atlas VPN, check out their most recent deal. As mentioned previously, you can get a three-year deal for only $1.99 a month with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Make sure to click the link in the description below and thanks again to Atlas VPN for sponsoring today's video. Let's start off with the first giveaway. It seems that you guys can win all of these all of these things. So this is not only just a pack, but also an Ampharos V. Okay, there's the Pokemon. Ah, I've heard your eyes. Then we have Metazoo. All right, so here will be the first inaugural opening of Metazoo. I don't know what to see here, but we're going to go through it. You guys can win all these cards. Don't really know what to look for, but we're going to go for it. Okay, we've got the, uh, the Mothman. Cool. Fireball. Flexion. Oh, we rucks in special. It doesn't matter what card game it is. We're going to rucks in special. Morpheus. The this, this squonk. All right. The Flatwoods monster that looks like our hollow. Lightning storm. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. That's a Yu-Gi-Oh card. Stealing cards there? And Frost Aura. All right. So there's the first MetaZoo pack. Here we go. I think this is the newer one. I'm not really sure. It's a very new set. Let me know what you think about MetaZoo down below. Uh, for the giveaway, like the video, be subscribed, and let me know what you think about the giveaway, MetaZoo, and of course, Elblitch. Here we go. We have Arkansas Snipe. Okay, crazy critter. Arkansas Razorbacks, baby. Let's go. Possession. Tribal War Cry. We got the Bloody Bones. Oh, that was a huge Ruxin special. Not going to lie. These cards feel very cheap. I'm not going to lie. They do not feel very nice at all. Yeah, these feel bad. Okay, Robert of the Doll. I'm not trying not trying to bash them or anything, but the, the Bandage Man of Cannon Beach. Okay, Prism Bean. Yeah, these, these, feel, these feel really weird. Honestly, these feel like homemade cards. Giveaway number two. We'll open the packs. All right, let's go. Oh, wow. This is a lot of packs. We have Shining Victories. We have Legendary Duelist. And we have Dark Neostrop. Cool. And then let's see what giveaway number two is. I think maybe this might not be packs. We have a starter deck. So we now have a CGC 9.5 Ampharos. We have a deck. And we have a bunch of packs, including those MetaZoo packs. So here we go. On to the next pack. We have the Bug Emergency. All right, cool. Gendo. Blackwing. The Girgia Anchor. Priestess with the Eyes of Blue. Man, that is a warped one, though. That's a cool card. All right, Priestess. We got the Magical Cavalry, Lunalite Wolf, and a Digital Bug Core. Let's go into uh, Sisters of the Rose. There's some cool cards in here, actually. Surprisingly. I know. Some of these are, like, kind of garbage, but this one's actually not too bad. The, the Kaleido Chick, the Snowplow Hustle Russell, the Leo Dancer, Lunalite Serene Serenade. <laughs> Serenade. That's different. I don't think that's guaranteed, so that's a decent pull. We've got another one. We have a Dark Neostrom in here. We could pull the Fusion Destiny, which is the most expensive card in the set, I believe. Unless it went down when it got semi-limited. Harpy Queen, Lunar Light, Black Cat. Flying Pegasus Railroad Stampede. Okay, maybe they are guaranteed. Not really sure. Let's go into the Dane. I'm excited about the Eldritch packs, though. This is a cool um, giveaway, though. Give away some of the cards. Get to open them up. Let's see if we can pull that. Uh, what is it called? I just forgot. Fusion Destiny. It's a super rare, so you can pull it uh, pretty easily. Cloudy in, Dino Wrestler, Mord Slag, Chain Hole, oh, and we've got ourselves a World Chalice, Guard Dragon, Almer Duke. Okay, three more packs. Let's go with Sisters of the Rose. What will the Rose give us this time? Will we pull something crazy? There's Mark of the Rose, Harvey's Hunting Ground, Lunar Light Cat Dance, Machine Angel Ritual. Okay, those were not guaranteed because we just didn't get a foil there. That's actually pretty cool. So we got two supers out of three packs. Let's see if we can pull an Ultra Rare. Oh, boy. We are decimating this pack. I can't open it. Luna Light Blue Cat. Blue Rose. Harpy Lady Phoenix Formation. All right. Harpy Queen and Harpy Lady Elegance. That was a, not a good voice. 
And the final giveaway pack. Can we pull the secret rare? Crystal wing. Can we pull, uh, what else? Isn't there blue eye stuff in here? Yeah, I think so. Luna light. Gear get anchor. Cuban. That was Mark. And pre-preparation of rights. I think this is not too bad, I think. Tin Matai Tai. Very cool. Oh, we got the carrot guy. All right, you guys can win all that stuff. Now let's see if I can pull the Eldritch because I don't really want to build Eldritch, but you know what? If we get those secret rares, we might have to do it. Wow, these are extremely warped. Okay, that's <laughs> that's not great. Okay, uh, I hope they're not all like this. Oh my goodness. Wow, that is, like almost, that is literally like unplayable at this point. That's going to take a lot of work. Quacky Mirror Wall. We got the Block Dragon's a good card. Uh, Raptite, man, these are bad. Aquero of the Golden Lord. What in the world? I really hope they're not all like this. Because this is this is pretty bad. <laughs> Next up, please, please, please. Don't be warped. Don't be warped. Come on. No, I can feel it. No. <laughs> don't do this to us. <laughs> if there's a go an Eldritch, is going to be painful. Eldritch, I think, was like, you get like one out of a case or something. It was pretty rough. Uh, the Titanial Princess of Camellias. This is used in Edison. Galaxy Cyclone, cool card, if it wasn't, you know, shaped like a Pringle. And the Recup Flurry, like, look at this. This is insane. Like, I want to eat this like a chip at this point. Next pack. No! Why is it like this? Okay, come on. Hopefully, it's just a couple of them. The chances are pretty, like, pretty much like zero that there's only a couple of them. Ah, another warped pack. How exciting. How exciting. We got Quacky Mirror Wall. The Block Dragon. The Raptite. These are, like, the most warped cards of all time. Oh, look, Solemn Judgment. Warped. And the Primula, the Rika Fairy. Next up, will I be able to flatten out these cards is the question. Let me know in the comments. Is it possible to actually do it? Or are, they, are these done for? Are we just wasting a bunch of money opening these up? We've got a Polynosis, the Rika Tranquility. Solemn Judgment again. Okay, we've got a we got a two-card set, not a play set. And we've got a Drag Eye for the Adamancipators. Very cool. All right, check that out. All right, guys, I draw. Oh, yeah, let me draw my <laughs> Look at this. It looks crazy. Oh, my goodness. This is not going so well in terms of uh, card quality, that's for sure. And it seems like it is going to continue in this fashion, which is not good. It means they were probably not stored correctly. We have Titanium. Very nice. Illblood. Erika, the Rika Fairy. Dragite. Oh, no! Illblood! That's actually insane. This card's so hard to pull. Oh, no. <laughs> Why? Why does it have to? Why does it have to be like this? It's one of those situations where, look look at it. It's like pringling in two different ways. Like this way is going like up. This way is going on the other side is going down. I'm like extremely happy to pull this card. And I'm also like just straight up sad because how am I going to use this? Like, what am I going to do? Just like set a bunch of stuff on it and just press it like, like this. I'm just going to sit like this for 24 hours. No, that's such a good pull. Like when I say it was really hard to pull guys, like they used to short print stuff like crazy before they added starlights and all that stuff. They would make like certain secret rares take boxes and boxes and boxes to pull. And this is one of them. So the fact that we just pulled one is actually crazy, but unfortunately it's super bent. So let's see. I guess we just keep going. We've got a lot of packs left, but I have mixed feelings right now. Solemn Judgment. This would be an incredible opening if these were not bent like a Pringle. All right, we got a wrap tight. I actually do want that out Emancipator stuff, but like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to flatten out this many cards. El Dorado, Adel Adelantin, Adelantido. I don't think they play this one. All right, next pack. How do we cure the sadness right now? Pull an unwarped Eldritch, I guess. I don't know. Let me know if you got any uh, remedies besides, like, put it under a bunch of books. Like, how could I fix these? Because I know put it under a bunch of books. I mean, it kind of works, but I don't know. At this point, it might be too bad. We got Naruto and a Rika Sheet. Secret rare. Very cool. Okay, it's not that cool. I said it was cool. You guys know how it goes. I just say everything's cool, even though it's not. Let's see what the next one is. Let's get something very cool, if you know what I mean. We got another Princess of Autumn Leaves. We got a Lone Fire. This is a cool card as well. Another good one for Edison. We got a Pyramid of Wonders. The Kanzashi, the Rika Queen. Ad Emancipator Analyzer. Okay, that's a good card. Wait, isn't there another anal or Ad Emancipator that's pretty big in here? It's the Researcher. That card used to be like 70 bucks. I think now it's like 13. <laughs> so, a little bit of a price change, but the uh, we still want the Researcher. It's a good card. On to the next one. Let's see. We have a Leonite. We're getting all the Adam Emancipator cards, which is cool. We got the Overload. The, uh, Clan... Cl 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 okay. Nine-tailed Fox. 
Elitzer of Scarlet Sanguine. That's not a bad one, I don't think. All right, let's get another Golden Lord. I don't, I don't know. I, even if it's warped, it's still pretty cool. Let's do it. Let's see if we can uh, get the whole play set. I do have gold versions of him, but I, if you guys know, I mean, the gold version... Oh, Solemn Judgment. Gold versions are weird in your deck because you, like, half the double sleeve them because they're so thick. Rap type, get an ill blood. Guardian of the Golden Land, another secret rare trap card via Eld Eldritch deck. Next blister. We've been opening a lot of blisters recently, it feels like. It's like Blister City out here. If you guys have any cool blisters you want to sell me, you can hit me up on Instagram. You can hit me up through email, Twitter, all that stuff. Make sure you guys go follow those. We've got, oh, Uni Zombie. Very cool for the uh, zombie deck. Leonite. Guardian. Doki Doki. Elixir of Black Awakening. Isn't this a pretty good one? Yeah, this is over a $10 card. If it's near mint, not warped. Next pack. Here we go. Let's go. Let's see if we can pull... Oh, another Unizombie. Cool. Doki Doki. DD Borderline. That's IOC. That's classic. Raptite. And a Rika Sheet again. Next pack. Come on. Give us that epic Golden Lord yet again. DD Borderline. The Raptite. The Pringle. The Pringle. Oh, that was another Lone Fire. That's cool, actually. Cool Pringle. And uh, is that a third Rika Sheet? Really? The next pack. I draw. What will I draw out of this pack? We have Adam Spader, Lapatite. I don't remember that one. Rock Bombardment. Upstart Goblin is in here. That's pretty cool. The Kanzashi. And the Scarlet Sanguine yet again. We still have several blisters to go. Let's see if we can pull something big, something epic. And by something epic, I mean that guy. I think there's a Rika Fairy card that's like an XCs or something. Is it an XCs? Yeah, the Teardrop of the Rika Fit Queen is the second most valuable card. We have not pulled that. We got Kanzashi. Lone Fire again. And El Dorado Adelantado. El Dorado Adelantado. El Dorado Adelantado. We also still need to pull the Researcher, the Cursed Eld Land. I mean, those are some of the top cards we have not pulled. We have fortunately pulled the Golden Lord himself. So that is good. Let's see if we can pull those other cards as well. We have a Rose Lover made it. Plants are got some serious support in here. We got the Upstart. Well, I guess reprints, I should say. The Helleborn, the Rika Fairy. Solemn Judgment again. That's a lot of Solemns. That's pretty good. Oh, and an Analyze. Wait. That's the wrong one. Still, cool. I think Analyzer's around a dollar, so it's not quite that $12 that the other one is, but it's still pretty cool. I mean, we'll take it. All right. We have the Talia. The Marina. Rika Tranquility. Trap Trick. That's our first one of that. That's cool. And a Mudan the Rika Fairy. I don't think Mudan is the way you say it. <laughs> Come on. Bless us with that uh, Rika Queen or another uh, Golden Lord. We got another Lone Fire. That's good. Unizombie, another cool one. The Leonite Guardian. And the Leonite Synchro Monster. That's the first time pulling that one. Okay, it's not terrible. Just a few more blisters until this opening is complete. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I appreciate you guys who do that because we will be doing more epic openings. You guys know that. We have Marina. Marina. We got the Rika. Trap Trick again, number two. Hellaborn and Elixir of Black Awakening. Another decent one. This one's still like one of the best cards in the set. Four more blisters. Can we pull another big card? I can't believe we actually pulled the Golden Lord. It's pretty good. Still unfortunate that it was a Pringle, man. That is pretty. You can just feel it. Like before you even open it, you're like, wow, these cards are super warped. Okay, Talia. Curse. Wait, Cursed Eldan's a super? This is one of the, like, $12 cards. Okay, that's cool to be a super. That's weird that we've only gotten one so far. Uh, Helleborn. And another Analyzer. We got a play set of that one. We just don't have the uh, the actual good one. Three more. Can we get another Cursed Eldan? Because that's, like, one of the best cards, and we've pulled one. Um, yeah, these packs are actually pretty expensive. I guess because Eldlitch is so popular. We have a... Uh, La, 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 and they're only in gold or this, and people don't really like gold. Why oh, Miller Overload, the Gold Land Forever. And Mudon? Mudon? Mudan? I don't know. It's another secret rare. Numero dos pack left. That is That was an incoherent Yoda Spanish sentence. All right, here we go. Bless us, Yoda. Give us an epic pull. We have Rose Lava, the Polynosis, Miracle Fertilizer, Adam and Spader, Lapatite. And <laughs> this card again, really? <laughs> All right, that was a nice repeat. We are on to the final blister pack. Will it have the Golden Lord? Eldlich. I'm pretty happy with pulling one. I mean, hopefully we can flatten out and make it look, you know, nice and clutch. I don't know, but here we go. We will go into the final pack of Pringles. The final can of Pringles. We've got Rose Lover, Rock Bombardment, The Raptite, Dahlia, and final pack. 
The final secret rare. Final chance to get a second Golden Lord. What is with us in doubles recently? We pulled doubles so much. That's like four out of the last five or six packs we pulled that card. If you guys enjoyed that video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic videos. Shout out to TC Trust Cards, Tonefo Show, Tomato Juice, Stanley Mike, Nance, Mimic Echo, Spanky McFarlane, G Raider, Daxter, Ian Musa, and Junior Barden. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.